Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and over the past couple of years there's been a growing sentiment that Unity does not care about game development anymore, especially PC and console indie game development or small scale hobby game development, which is how Unity gained a ton of popularity. You can see this sentiment on YouTube, Reddit or Twitter, especially when there's some announcement that is not directly related to indie game development. Now for me, as someone who follows pretty much all Unity news, both big and small, for me this sentiment always seemed very strange because from what I can see, game dev, and especially indie dev, has always been and still is one of their main focus. However, I can also understand how for a more casual viewer who doesn't really follow every single piece of news but only hears the big ones, from that point of view I can see how that sentiment might have grown. Basically the news that make the splash are the big ones which aren't directly related to game development or again more specifically indie game development which is usually the vocal majority on YouTube, Twitter and Reddit. There was a big splash when they bought the Weta Tools, it seems that acquisition is mainly focusing on digital movie production. There's also the Ziva Dynamics, same thing, more for movies than really games. Then of course the biggest splash of all was Art and Source which is actually about game development, although it's about mobile game development so not exactly what PC and console indie game devs really care about. So if you're a casual viewer and you're just reading these news of billion dollar acquisitions targeting industries other than small indie game development then it can definitely create that type of negative sentiment. Now just last week Unity announced a really interesting new initiative which I believe is meant to directly tackle this type of sentiment. They're calling it Games Focus and it's meant to be a recurring series to highlight all of the game focused things that Unity has done and continues doing. In this first post they talk about a lot of things, like specifically all of the improvements they have made to the universal render pipeline. You can read the entire change log for the package to see how they are constantly, constantly improving it. So URP, which is definitely very game focused, that one is constantly getting updates and some pretty massive ones at that, but again not flashy enough to be big news. Then some improvements on code and general iteration time, which again is focused on anyone that uses the Unity editor, which obviously includes small indie game devs. They mention several speedups on every single LTS iteration, and in the future they are working on moving the editor to the core CLR. This is a massive under the hood upgrade, but again, not really something sexy that gets the clicks or the headlines. The UI Toolkit is another excellent game focus tool that has slowly been growing in the background. I haven't made a video on it yet, but I have done some research and it is a very good tool. And speaking of the UI toolkit, they just launched a brand new awesome sample game which you can download for free and inspect to see how it all works. That's the first blog post on this Games Focus series. I definitely look forward to seeing more of it since there are so many game focused things that a lot of people still don't know about. There's also the excellent recently released free ebook on the Universal Render Pipeline. I made a video overview on this ebook, it's a massive ebook, over 120 pages, all filled with excellent information to help your games look their best. Also, this is not their only ebook, Unity has made a ton of these, all of them with tons of super useful information on all kinds of topics, and again, most of them are definitely focused on indie game development. They also participated on the recent Gamescom and used their booth to promote and talk about all kinds of awesome indie games being built with Unity. So if you make a great game with Unity, there's a chance they won't help you promote it, which is one of the toughest parts of indie game development nowadays. Another really awesome initiative that they did a while ago is the DevBlitz. This is where an entire Unity team went onto the forums and Reddit and answered a ton of questions. I asked them myself and got some really great answers. So this is another initiative that they say is the first of many with many other teams doing other dev blades in the future. So really great idea, again very much focused on game dev. In terms of packages and development, Dots which is an extremely exciting tech that will definitely enable all kinds of new games to be built, this one is still in active development. I just made a video a while ago on the current state, they had a pretty massive update a few months ago and everything's on track for it to be production ready by next year. Another great package in development is the netcode for game objects. This is their official multiplayer solution, again completely focused on indie game devs. This one has been constantly getting updates and has been in 1.0 preview for several months so the final release should be just around the corner. And it's not just a package, along with it is a really awesome fully working sample of a co-op game called Boss Room, which you can download to inspect and see how it all works. Something which has gaming in the name is Unity Gaming Services, which launched recently and has tons of tools to help indie game devs. I also made a video when that one launched. It's a collection of over 20 tools, and most of them are either completely free or they have very generous free tiers, so this is definitely a huge boon for indie game devs. Another awesome sample that exists is one to teach you about addressables and cloud content delivery. This one is a really cute puzzle game which again you can download and inspect to see how it all works. These two tools, addressables and cloud content delivery are definitely very much game focused. If you want to learn more about them I have detailed lectures on them in my Ultimate Unity overview course. 
Every single Unity version also comes with tons of game-focused updates, but again, these don't really get the headlines. In version 22.1, there's a 60% improvement in importing small files, as well as a 100 times faster undo operations. There's a visual search query tool to help you find anything in your project. There's also a spline authoring package. Then there are material variants, there are VFX improvements, a bunch of 2D improvements, and tons more. Again, all things that definitely showcase that they are dedicated to game development, but again, not really enticing enough to make a clickable headline. Recently, they had a brand new free phone course on VR game development. This is on Unity Learn, which is their official learning website. This course is extremely detailed, it is several hours long, taking you from the absolute basics to some really complex VR game development. Again, all of it completely free. In terms of interacting directly with the indie game dev community, they have their Twitch channel, where they livestream and play games made by the community. They also do interviews and serious deep dives with game developers, so you can learn how real Unity games are made and how they all work. Like recently, they did a great one on Roller Drone. They also had one that was all about teaching you how to use the VFX graph. Another great dev breakdown was on the wildly successful V Rising. So definitely lots of heavy game-focused content on their Twitch, which you can use to learn to make your own games better. Then on their Twitter, every two weeks there is a dev takeover, where one developer takes over their official account to post some super useful info, and all of the devs invited are very much related to game dev. These are always filled with excellent actionable info you can learn in a super quick way. So definitely make sure to check out their Twitter every single Tuesday for these Unity tips. Accessibility in games is something that game players value more and more, so to help you with that, Unity launched a course that is all about accessibility. It's on Unity Learn, it's a really detailed course, again, all of it completely free, and definitely focus on games and helping you make better, more accessible games. Another excellent game-related package is the Photo Mode. This is a feature that a lot of gamers really enjoy. They've built a very comprehensive Photo Mode, which you can easily download and add to your games. Another excellent free game package is the one that I've used in so many of my own videos, the free star assets. There are two assets, one in first person and one in third person. They are super useful for very quickly getting your prototype up and running. You just import the asset, drag the prefab, and you have a character working in your game, either in first or third person. Super useful. Then of course there's all the packages that have already existed for many years and continue being supported. They continue being updated and improved every single time. You just need to go into the package manager and view the last release date for pretty much every package. All of these are constantly being updated, but again, that really doesn't make a big splash, so you don't really hear much about it. For example, the 2D animation package got a bunch of huge performance boosts last year. They made a use of Burst to massively improve the performance, but again, you probably didn't hear about that, it just quietly happened in the background. The PSD importer is always constantly getting improvements, supporting PSDs and PSBs. Their sprite shape, which is super awesome for making 2D games. It's heavily used in their Dragon Crashers demo, the last update was less than a month ago. There are lots of AR packages, definitely super useful for making AR games, kind of like Pokemon Go, which by the way you might not know was actually developed in Unity. Burst is one of the most amazing things, and it is constantly improving and bringing those improvements to everything related to Unity, including any of your games. Sin Machine has been out for ages, but is still getting updates. The input system is excellent, definitely an extremely important game-focused feature, I made a tutorial on it, it's really excellent. I remember the pain that I had when I wanted to make a game for controllers 6 years ago. This package would have definitely made that process of making that game much much easier. So lots of packages that already exist and are constantly getting updates, but again those updates don't get the same level of press as announcing brand new features. And of course there's the asset store, which as I'm sure you know has lots of awesome assets from third party developers, tons of assets tools, definitely focus on game development, and Unity is always organizing sales so you can pick up some of these awesome assets for a pretty cheap price. And even better than cheap would be free, and Unity has their own publisher page on the SSR and pretty much everything here is free. You have the UI toolkit sample, a Dots character controller, 2D game kit, a creator kit to make an RPG, the really nice tanks tutorial. You've got visual scripting, you've got some really nice terrain scenes, the star assets that I mentioned, and so on. They also have their own internal team, which flies all over the world doing consulting work, so giving guidance and helping developers make Unity games. Then what that team learns from those developers making games is then used to make the engine better for everyone. Two years ago they bought the Bolt asset, they made it free for everyone and integrated it with the engine as the official visual scripting tool. I use it in my own visual scripting course to make three unique games, all without a single line of code, so that's definitely game focused and an extremely powerful tool. Just recently they acquired a really awesome Dots character controller. They made it free already, so when Unity Dots reaches 1.0, this is going to be super awesome and really helpful to tons of people. Then they also have the awesome free Dragon Crashers demo sample. 
This one is an excellent resource for anyone making 2D games. There's also all of the micro games, so these are great for beginners to quickly get started with game development in Unity. There's the Create with Code course, really massive, full of tons of info for game devs, and again, completely free. So based on all of this, I really feel that the sentiment that Unity no longer cares about game development, I feel that is really just not correct. Unity is definitely committed to game development, it's just the big headlines that might make it not seem that way, just because all of these initiatives, all of these samples and tools, they don't really get as many clicks as reporting on a billion dollar merger. Like I said, for me as someone who follows all the news, both big and small, for me I never had a reason to doubt their commitment to game development. When I see big news related to other things like movies, digital twins, AEC and so on, when I see that, I really just see them expanding the engine to other areas but without cutting back on their gaming focus. That to me is very much a positive. The more use case and the more areas where Unity is used, then the more valuable it is to be a Unity developer, so that's excellent news for me or for you or really any Unity developer. So hopefully with this video you found some game dev related things that Unity has done that might be super useful for you right now that you might not have known about. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.